There's been a significant update to Coinbase that could drastically improve the situation of Shiba and you holders. If you own any amount of SHIB, you should really watch this video because the upgrade is something to do with your SHIB tokens entering the cryptocurrency market. It is stressed that you should pay close attention, since this is one of the warnings given to you. Tokens cannot be retrieved once they have been sent, hence it is crucial that the correct wallet address is used. Things, however, have evolved fairly recently. One of the most centralized exchange platforms, Coinbase, has developed a method to recover accidentally transferred crypto, in this case ERC-20 tokens of which SHIB is a part. On December 15th, Coinbase announced that customers can retrieve up to 4,000 ERC-20 tokens that they had previously transferred. This is your chance to get back any tokens you may have sent to the wrong Coinbase wallet by accident. You only need to reveal the incorrect recipient address and the associated Ethereum transaction ID. According to the release from Coinbase, without disclosing private keys, our recovery tool can transfer unsupported funds directly from your incoming address to your self-custodial wallet. To accomplish this, we use patent pending technology to bypass our centralized exchange system and transmit the funds straight to your inbound address. That's really neat, huh? It's interesting to note that this is not the first time a cryptocurrency exchange has provided a means to retrieve accidentally transmitted tokens. On the other hand, certain cryptocurrency markets only perform this recovery on a case-by-case -case basis, so it's possible that yours won't be selected. Every shipholder who has accidentally sent their tokens to another Coinbase wallet can now retrieve them thanks to the platform's new technology. Tokens being sent to the wrong wallet has been a problem for some time, as those in the know will attest. Many cases have been brought before the courts over precisely this type of dispute. In one high-profile case from 2018, a judge ordered that tokens be returned to the wallet that had acquired them in error. Furthermore, not long after that, a parallel event occurred in Australia. Because of this newfound ability to retrieve tokens that were transferred in error, Coinbase should no longer have to deal with similar lawsuits in the future. Shiba Inu's status as an ARC token is wonderful news since it implies token holders can retrieve their tokens if they were distributed in error. This could encourage more people to buy Shiba Inu tokens in the future. As a matter of fact, after hearing what the CEO of Binance just mentioned, it's possible that more people who now hold their own SHIB would decide to switch to a cryptocurrency trading site like Coinbase that also offers recovery possibilities. Anyone who has been keeping up with KSI knows that he has no problem keeping his own private keys to his cryptocurrency. He even gave advice that one occasion since he supports the practice, so long as it is carried out properly. On the other hand, it seems as though he has changed his tune a little bit recently, which may be due to things he has been observing. Although he still thinks self-custody has potential, he is skeptical that many people are capable of implementing it successfully. He stated emphatically that improper storage of security keys and the lack of encryption for set security keys are two of the main reasons why 99% of people who engage in self-custody will lose their cryptos. As reported by Coinalagraph, he made these claims in a Twitter thread. This is a snippet of what he had to say. The vast majority of people do not have a spare set of security keys. The gadget will be misplaced due to a lack of appropriate encryption. Their backup will be useless. They'll jot it down on paper. If other people find out about it, they may try to take the money. No provision can be made for a person's heirs in the event of their death. One of the major problems with exchange platforms is that if your tokens are lost, they can't be recovered, even though custodians like Binance can adopt a standard operating procedure. It's possible that shipholders who previously engaged in self-custody will begin using exchanges now that this problem has been resolved with Coinbase. This is not, however, an endorsement of any particular cryptocurrency exchange. For the most part, you are free to keep your tokens wherever you like. Remember to do your homework. And now we go on. Okay, so let's chat about whales. This is a case of our ship whales abandoning ship. About 2.6 trillion ship tokens, worth a staggering $22 million, were recently traded between two unknown whales. Until you remember that the wallet that delivered the tokens is now empty, this doesn't look suspicious. On the other side, the quantity of tokens held in the wallet from which they were transferred is now exactly equal to the transferred. Not a single thing. No, this is not a whale poop. Before we get to it, though, 
You should know that this channel gives out 100,000 ships every day. To participate, simply subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share your thoughts in the comment section. Hashem. I know. Best of luck. A common line of thinking among experts is that this is merely a redistribution. Given the size of the redistribution, about 2.6 trillion tokens that can only have been carried out by a large investor, a whale, or a cryptocurrency exchange. However, you should be aware that ship whales are currently carrying significantly fewer ship tokens than they were a week ago. There is still a lot they can store, just not as much. We can only hope that things will turn around and ship can once again take the lead. Finally, it seems like an Ethereum dump is around the corner. Therefore, we need to be very careful right now. In a recent tweet, Cryptoquin, a platform for crypto analysis, hinted at the prospect of an imminent huge sellout, providing two reasons for their skepticism. An extreme increase in deposits into the Ethereum 2.0 deposit contract, where they will remain frozen until the Shanghai hard fork, is the first event you've mentioned today. Today, the amount of ETH locked in the contract has grown to the equivalent of about 12% of Ethereum's total supply. Moreover, the graph reveals a declining trend in the number of deposits. The latter is expected to happen six months after the merge event, which occurred in the middle of September, according to information published earlier by Ethereum. We can mark the day on the calendar, March of 2023. It does not look good for Ethereum that 12% of the total supply is locked up and few new deposits are being made. It may indicate that consumers are hesitating to make fresh investments or are opting for the safer plate-saved option offered by locking and slashing. If this trend keeps up, a sellout is becoming more and more likely. The existence of SHIB on the Siberian platform raises questions if a sellout occurs. The second factor leading Crypto.com to think that an Ethereum sellout is possible is the persistent decline in available ETH on trading platforms. This demonstrates that investors have begun removing cryptocurrency from certain exchanges, while Cryptoquin anticipates the sell-off will be triggered by the Shanghai hard fork. This is so because it would allow users to withdraw their staked currencies. This whole situation is unsettling, and not only for Ethereum owners, but possibly ship owners as well. This is due to the fact that the Ethereum blockchain forms the foundation of Shiba Inu. So, what if the blockchain and ship be impacted if the native coin of the ship's blockchain of origin loses popularity? We'd love to hear your feedback, so feel free to leave it below. Now, this video has reached its conclusion. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. For the YouTube algorithm, this is a huge benefit. I'd appreciate it if you could also show this video to as many people as possible. Let's get the word out.